Jerry at Fair Oaks. see him. Jerry! Oh, hello, Mr. Randall. Golly, I was afraid you hadn't come. Hadn't come? Say, you know me better than that, Jerry Dugan. Didn't I tell you yesterday afternoon on the phone I'd be in on this train? Yes, sir, but, well, I didn't see you right away. No, but don't forget that it was a whole lot easier for me to see you in that bright, shiny uniform than it was for you to catch sight of me in this old gunny sack. Gunny sack? <laughs> <laughs> well, shall we get on up to the school, son? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, let's take a taxi cab, hmm? Well, I kind of thought we might be able to walk up there and talk on the way. Oh, got something on your mind you don't want to talk about in front of other people, is that it? Yes, sir, that's it. Oh, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to take a taxi. I can tell you a little bit about, about what I want to talk to you about. And then maybe we can sit out in the quad or someplace and finish there. All right. Anything you say, son, come along. There's a cab over there, Mr. Randall. All right. Cab, sir? Uh, yep. Get in, Jerry. No, sir. You first, please. Mm. Okay. Uh, Where to? Uh, Fair Oaks Military Academy. Yes, sir. Well, now, son, uh, what's this all about? Uh, gee, Mr. Randall, I, I was certainly glad you could come to Fair Oaks today instead of waiting for the midterm exercises. Mm, yeah, so was I. It's sort of a little vacation for me. I've been pretty busy lately getting ready for next season. Buying new acts and getting the costumes done over. <laughs> Clara's been a busy little woman the last few weeks. Oh, say, how is Clara, Mr. Randall? Oh, she's fine, Jerry, just fine. <clears throat> well, now, uh, are you ready to talk to me, Mr. Dugan? You seem to be sort of uh, hedging, sort of beating around the bush. Uh-huh. Well, uh, Mr. Randall, how much money have I got left? Money? Oh, <laughs> Well, you've still got quite a neat little sum in your bank account, Jerry. Uh-huh. Well, uh, just about... <laughs> Jerry, <laughs> why don't you come right out with it and tell me what's on your mind? You know me well enough to know that I want to help you do the right thing. If you've got something on your mind, I mean, some use for your money, well, as your guardian and your friend, I want to advise you as to the best way to solve your problem. Yes, sir, I know that. Well, it's like this, Mr. Randall. Yesterday, Lee got word from the man who's been handling... <laughs> Wait a minute, I... I better tell you first that Lee is an orphan just like me. Oh, I didn't know that. I guess I just forgot to tell you. Well, his father left him a pretty good business, or at least he thought it was good. A man by the name of Thorpe has been his uh, executor. Mm-hmm. Well, Mr. Thorpe was Lee's dad's lawyer. I see. Well, yesterday, Major Davis called Lee into his office and told him that he'd had a letter from Mr. Thorpe and that Mr. Thorpe said that something happened to the business and that Lee was going to have to leave Fair Oaks. Oh, I see. Uh, well, uh, Jerry, what is it you want to ask me? I... I wanted to ask you if I could invite Lee to go back with us for midterm vacation, back to the surface uh, winter quarters. I'm sure he'd like to go. <laughs> well, sure, son, that's all right. You knew I'd say yes to that, didn't you? Yes, sir, I guess I did. <laughs> Well, now, what's that got to do with the amount of money in your bank account? I, 
I don't know how to ask this. Well, uh, why don't you just start in and blurt it out? Oh, here we are at the Academy. Maybe I'd better wait until we get onto the campus. All right, Jerry, we'll wait. <laughs> Well, it'll be 75 cents. All right. Here you are. Oh, thanks. Will I wait for you? No, no, no. Don't wait. Okay. Uh-huh. Listen. Yes. Today's drill day. I got out of it to meet you. Oh, I see. Is uh, Lee over there drilling? Yes, sir. That's another thing Lee will miss. A lot of the cadets don't like drill, but Lee does. Mm -hmm. Do you, Jerry? Yes, sir. Pretty well. I like horseback riding better, though. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, say, now that we're here in Custis Hall, maybe I'd better drop in to see Major Davis just to find out what this is all about. Hmm? You mean about Lee? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, Mr. Randall, if it's all right with you, I'd rather talk to you first and tell you my plan. Well, okay, son, come along. Say, there's that uh, Hunter Craig trophy there, Jerry, that you helped Fair Oaks to win. Yes, sir. It looks swell in the trophy cabinet, doesn't it? Ah, you bet it does. Do you want to sit out here in the quad on one of the uh, alumni benches or go to our room, Mr. Andrews? Whatever you say, son. Well, uh, let's sit out here for a little while. I, I kind of like the sound of drill. Well, it so, it's sort of thrilling, isn't it? The band and everything. Yes, it is. It is thrilling. That's a Fair Oaks alma mater, Mr. Andrews. Yeah, yeah, I recognize it from uh, hearing it at the riding meet. Well, here's a bench. Is mm -hmm. it all right? You bet. Yeah. All right now, son, you get along with your plan. Well, I just wondered what you'd think about me lending Lee enough money to at least finish out this year at Fair Oaks. Mm, I see. Well, how much would you say you'd want to lend Lee? Well, just enough to finish out the rest of this year. That wouldn't be much, would it? No, not much, about four or five hundred dollars. Oh, that much, huh? Uh, changing your mind, son? No, sir, I still want to do it. Jerry, uh, how do you know Lee would accept your offer of a loan? It's a ticklish business, you know, offering money to a friend in need. Mm, yes, sir. Yeah, I know. I, I thought of that. That's another thing I thought you could help me with. Oh, I understand. <laughs> oh, say, drill's over. Hey, let's go to the room, Mr. Randall. We can talk there for a little while longer till Lee comes in. All right. You know, you're sort of rushing me here a little bit and making a decision. Well, I don't want to do that, Mr. Randall, but... Well, it, it's certainly important to decide something pretty soon, because, well, Lee's all set to go right home, or, or rather to Mr. Thorpe's home, just as soon as the midterm exams are over. Mm -hmm. He even said he didn't even think he'd stay for the exercises. Oh, do you think he's affected that much by having to leave, Jerry? Oh, yes, sir, I know he is. Golly, if you could have seen him, Mr. Randall, yesterday, just after he had that talk with Major Davis. Oh, uh, yes, son, I, I think I realize how much it means to Lee right now. Right now? Yes, uh, you know, uh... I can remember a young circus rider almost shedding real tears over having to leave Randall Brothers' greater circus not so long ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I did, didn't I? I'd almost forgotten all about that. Oh, yeah, and that's just it, Jerry. You see, time heals all wounds. Although leaving the academy means a great deal to Lee right now, he'll get over that, just as you have got over your disliking to leave the circus. He'll get into new surroundings and meet new friends and... Although he'll undoubtedly never quite forget his days here at Fair Oaks, he'll get over his first grief. Then, then you mean you're not going to let me lend Lee the money? Well, son, I, I don't know quite what to say right now. Uh, well, gee, Mr. Randall. Now, now, just a minute, Jerry. I, I know exactly how you feel, and I want to help you help Lee solve his problem. But I want to be sure it's done in the right way. Yes, sir. Well, here's our room. Well, what's this? Oh, golly, Lee's got almost all of his stuff packed. He, he's getting ready to go. Oh, Mr. Randall. Comes pretty close to home right at this minute, doesn't it, son? Yes, sir, it sure does. May I sit down? Oh, yes, sir, excuse me. Now, Jerry, I've got an idea. Yes, sir? We don't want to make this look obvious, do we? I mean, uh, we want to do it in a way that won't be embarrassing to Lee, isn't that right? Yes, sir. Now, you wrote me about you and Lee finding a new friend and this boy from England, uh, What's his name? Uh... Uh, Bruce Dow Campbell. Oh, yes. Well, now, Bruce will be a long way from home. You said his father's in the capital, didn't you? Mm, yes, he is. Well, then, why don't you invite both the lads to join you and come to winter quarters? Oh, oh I get it. A and then Lee won't know that you and I are trying to work out something, some plan so we can stay at Fair Oaks. <laughs> is that it? That's it. <laughs> now, you see, you didn't have to worry a few minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gee, Mr. Randall, I, 
I should have known that you wouldn't let me down. Let you down? Say, not in your life. <laughs> hey, listen, uh-oh. The fellows are coming back from drill. Oh. Uh, Mr. Randall, when Lee comes in, you kind of handle things, will you? I'm afraid I'll make a mistake. <laughs> All right, Jerry, leave it to me. <laughs> Come on in, Bruce. I don't... Mr. Randall. <laughs> Hello, Lee. As one cadet to another, how are you? <laughs> Gee, I'm glad to see you. <laughs> Surprise, huh, Lee? I should say. Uh, Jerry told me you were coming up for the exercises, Mr. Randall, but well, I didn't know you'd be here so soon. Well, I thought I'd give myself a little vacation. Been working pretty hard lately, getting ready for the road again. Yeah, I see, sir. Well, it's certainly fine to have you here. Thank you, son. Thank you. Well, I uh, suppose this is Cadet Dal Campbell, isn't it? Oh, gee, excuse me. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Randall, this is Cadet Dal Campbell. Uh, Bruce, I, I want you to meet my guardian, Mr. Sam Randall. Hello, Bruce. Do, sir? <laughs> it's a great pleasure meeting you. I've heard a great deal about you from Cadet Dugan. Oh, nothing too bad, I hope. Oh, no, sir. It's all been very, very complimentary. Well, that's fine. Well, sit down, boys. This is your room, not mine. Oh, thank you, sir. Well, it'll soon be vacation time, won't it, boys? Mm, yes, sir. They will. Quite a bit longer vacation than I counted on. Yeah. Yes, Lee, uh, Jerry told me you're not going to be here next term. No, sir. He told you why, didn't he? Yeah, yes, he did. Well, well, I felt awfully blue about it yesterday, but... Well, I sort of slept on it last night, and today I don't feel nearly as badly. That's just one of those things, I guess. Atta boy. That's the way to take it in stride. And that's showing the real fair oak spirit, isn't it, boys? No, I see. Indeed it is. it is. Well, Lee, uh, Bruce, uh, Jerry has something to say to you two boys. A little suggestion I made to him a few minutes ago. Oh, is that so? What is it, Jerry? Uh, well... Uh, uh, remember what I said about uh, blurting, Jerry? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, fellas, it's this. Uh, Mr. Randall suggested that I invite you to come with him and me to visit the circus in winter quarters. Aw, oh, gee, you'd like it swell. And it'll be a lot of fun to have the three of us together. And we'll have so many things to... Here, 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 here. Wait a minute, son. Maybe you don't have to deliver a sales talk on your idea. No, no, maybe not. Hey, what do you think of it, Bruce? Lee? Jerry, I think it's marvelous, and I'll be delighted to accept your invitation. Oh, that's swell, Bruce. Lee? Uh... Well, I don't know, Jerry. You see, I got a letter from Mr. Thorpe today, and he said he thought I ought to get to Mapleton right away. Mapleton? Yes, sir. That was my home. Oh, say, listen, that's only about 50 miles from uh, Melrose City. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, that's right. Well, now, that's fine. The circus winter quarters are in Melrose City. They are. Sure, Lee. Didn't I ever tell you? Probably not, Jerry. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do, Lee. Yes, sir? I'll wire Mr. Thorpe tonight and, as Jerry's guardian, ask for his permission to have you join the other lads during vacation. How's that? Oh, thanks, Mr. Randall. That, uh, that's swell. <laughs> <laughs>